Hey guys, Elle here. Welcome back to Elle's Travel Out. Today is day 4 of my Jakarta trip. Um, I started my day earlier actually, but I didn't vlog because I was just um, walking around enjoying myself and um, there's this uh, figurine store downstairs the place I'm staying and it was really really huge like seriously if Abe, um, Joan's brother, were to go there he would like be really happy and he'll probably overfill his luggage as it is my luggage is quite packed as well I didn't expect but to get quite a lot of stuff actually mostly actually snacks from the grocery store because like some stuff I wanted to try and some stuff I like gifts so yeah as it is I'll probably have to figure out how to rearrange my luggage yeah it's quite full actually um, so I'm just waiting for my brother to get ready and we should be going to the Lotte Shopping Avenue Yes, there is a Lotte Shopping Avenue in Jakarta which has a Lotte Duty Free inside as well So I'm gonna go check out the Duty Free and see what's there So if there's any newer items that we don't have in Malaysia yet which could be cheaper um, I did check out the NYX downstairs, I got like 3 lip products um, there's actually more stuff, but I found that some of the colors that I picked were a little bit similar with each other, so I picked the more unique colors. Um, so I got three lip products, which I would do like a haul video of all the stuff I've gotten, um, unless they're like gifts. Then sorry, I'll probably have given it away already. Um, and what else? Yeah, so I did check out the Etude House downstairs. It was a little bit sad. Like, Malaysia definitely has more products. It's probably only this Etude House. I have not like gone to any other Etude House yet, so it's maybe just this Etude House. But for compare this Etude House to the Malaysian one, Malaysia definitely has more products and slightly latest products. Yeah. So I'll see you guys. We are now in Lotte Shopping Avenue, and there it is, Lotte Ria. I have been craving for this since I knew I'm coming to Jakarta. I had it once when I came here two years ago, and I really, really liked it. There's kind of nothing like it in Malaysia. It's just, it's just really, really good. I can't wait to eat. All this was only for 70, 71,000 rupiah which is about 23 ringgit so I got like a chicken salad and it comes with rice and salad and I got extra of an egg, french fries and cheese steak and the cola comes with the salad It's pretty good deal actually, can't wait to eat it The chicken is so good, it's like moist and it's not like the juicy top moist um, so that it doesn't spill all over but it's really nice and moist and salad is good, the rice is so good Oh my god, the fries really surprised me. I ordered it because the lady was like, Oh, you sure you don't want to add fries? And I was like, mm, Okay, I'll try the fries. And it actually tastes legit like McDonald's fries. Like, it's so good. I won't try the cheese steak yet, but I'll try it. And the egg looks pretty good. I'll probably mix it with the rice. But yeah, I'm really happy with this meal. Done eating. I am so full. Um, the only thing I didn't really like was the cheese steak. But then again, that has. Not been any cheese steak that surpassed Domino's for me so far. I really, really like Domino's cheese steak. It's not too bad also if you're into this sort of cheese steak. Um, it's okay, it's not too bad, but I really like everything else. So yeah, we're gonna go walk around after this, and I think because we're gonna go into the duty free section, I'm not sure if they will allow me to film that, so I'm just not gonna take the risk, and I'll see you guys later. If you wanna find where there's a lot of duty free store, and those are the current ambassadors um, but we want to not super believe the website because a lot of the products that this the brands that said that are still here it's not sold here anymore that's just for Jakarta that I know of the lady told me that at about 6 p.m. they're gonna be having like this big discount deal thing whereby I could go from like 25 or 40 or 50 or even like 70% on the um, depending on the brands so since it's like about 3 something, we're just gonna walk around because the current discount is only 10% so it's kinda like not worth it but I'm kinda sad that they stopped stocking uh, in this free Tony Moly A2 House skin food I'm not sure why but I'm quite sad about it but then again those brands are available in Malaysia it's just that I thought you know maybe they might have newer items or maybe it could be cheaper or something but yeah since 
they don't have it. Um, okay, and I see a Watson's opposite me. I'm gonna ask my brother so I can go in and see if they have any K-Beauty in there. Okay, um, so I just walked through Watson's. Probably one of the biggest uh, Watson's I've been in um, yet. Um, don't see any K-Beauty, unfortunately. I don't know if it's just this outlet, but I, I didn't happen to see any Korean products. So, um, yeah. I guess it would take some time, but um, I like that they had a lot of local brands. National Pride, there you go. In this store called the uh, Goods Department, it's very, um, what's that area that Joan always goes to? Like, I think Samjongdong or Garasukyu kind of shop feel. There's a lot of little stuff inside here. Really pretty. Um, just gonna browse around. If you're into Polaroids, they have really cute ones here. Um, I got, I'm getting myself a Minion one because I took out the Minion and the Emoji one, and I asked my brother which one is better, and he pointed at the Minion. So yeah, I'm getting a Minion one. Um, the Rainbow one is from Malaysia as well, but I've not seen the Zootopia Minion or the Emoji one. So if you're from Malaysia and you happen to be visiting Jakarta. You could drop by the goods department. I believe there's another store of goods department as well in um, Pacific Place, Pacific Palace. I cannot remember the name of that place. Um, yeah, I passed by it but we didn't go in that day. So yeah, you can go and check it out there. So. The Uniqlo cost me one for the cost at Peanuts T-shirt. But I don't think they brought it in here yet. I know it's all in Malaysia already. I thought I could get the same one that J-Hope is wearing. I'll put a picture here. Maybe when I go back to Malaysia, I'll try to find it if they still have it in stock. But yeah, this is a really huge Uniqlo. I'm on the downstairs section. Upstairs is so huge that I kind of got lost a little bit. Somehow the stores here are really, really, really big. Like H&M, or Uniqlo. The other two that I went to is really big. I saw for our 21 yesterday, but I didn't go in. And the 421 was also two stories. Like, stores here are mega. Cutest little burger shoes in H&M. It's for kids, unfortunately. I think I might be able to fit inside, but it will be uncomfortable for my feet. We are in Angel Inner's uh, Coffee. I was wondering why it sounded really familiar. Then I glanced at the TV, and I believe it was Kim Kim Soo Hoon, uh, who's the ambassador or something like that. But the irony is that the ad that was playing had things so in it. But I was flipping through the menu to see the day dessert that I wanted, but. So I'm like, okay. So I ordered a vanilla shake snow and my brother ordered a mango shake snow. We're just kind of here to rest up for a little bit and also to wait a while because we have to wait till about 6 o'clock for that special discount promo thing and it's not even 5 o'clock yet. But we don't really want to walk around anymore. Um, I don't know if they walk so much. So for me to have 3,000 was bad. I've been averaging like about between 3 to 5,000 steps since I got here. Normally I probably walk about 2,000 plus steps a day. Yeah, that's how sad I am. Um, okay, so we're just gonna relax first. Okay, presentation wise, it's really pretty. So cute. It actually doesn't taste too bad. A little bit sweet though. Ka, how's yours? Mine's a little bit too sweet, but it's okay. It's not like chunky or anything like that. It's quite nice. So I just finished getting all my stuff at the uh, Lotte Beauty Free. I just got two mag lipsticks because it's quite a good deal. It's like 40% off each of them, and for two lipsticks, uh, after conversion, it was like less than 120 ringgit, which is pretty cheap considering I believe one mag lipstick in Malaysia is about. 80 ringgit at least. Yeah, I will have to check back again, but yeah, so I got two lipsticks for like um, less than 120, so pretty good deal actually. So it was worth waiting around. I just wish there was still any spray or if you have a skin or skin food here, then I might have even Tony Moly that maybe I could have picked up some other stuff as well, but who knows? I am going to the airport tomorrow, so I will see what is there at the airport then. But I don't really want to spend too much as well. Here are some Kinsu Hoon for all you fangirls. More Kinsu Hoon over here. Uh, 
not sure which star this is. This is Hero, and um, there is. Okay, I can't focus, but. Uh. Okay, that's Super Junior here. Kim Soo-hoon again. I'm seeing him here like almost everywhere in the mall, but I can't really find back him so much. Sup, sup. Yeah, he looks so good. Ow. I was expecting to see Kim Soo-hoon's face pop up here or something since he's the ambassador that I see him in Malaysia, but that isn't. My brother decided to come to the supermarket, but I'm here alone because he just went to the bathroom. I don't know what he wants to get, so I'm just walking around. Ironically, we are in Lotte Shopping Avenue, but it's not a Lotte Mart, it's right 99 Ranch Market. So, I believe if I have any viewers from the US, you guys might know of 99 Ranch Market. I believe it's like some like imported Asian grocer kind of market in the US, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, yeah, I'm just gonna walk around. I don't really want to shoot too much because I'm running out of space on this memory card. I will have to switch the memory card for my last like of the trip tomorrow. I can never get used to this. This is how dark the skies are at like 7.30 p.m. So I'm always slightly disorientated if I've been in the mall for like a few hours. Then I come out to see that wow, everything is dark and I wonder what time is it and I thought it'd be like, it's something online but it's only 7.30 and the morning sun does come out much faster as well at like about 7 plus a.m. it looks like as though it's 9 a.m. so eye mask is definitely needed if you sleep in a room with like windows so the brother has taken me to this almost like a food court uh, to eat matabak um, I, I don't know how to describe what is matabak god how do you describe what is matabak Okay, he says it's like a pancake, so I'm kind of having pancake for dinner. Um, okay, we'll see what it tastes like. No, I didn't chalk catch your man, doing her bow with your man. No, my gang girl, what did you do yesterday? Call me chalk catch your man, young girl at your man. No, my gang girl, what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Hey, 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 what did you do, do, do? It's a gun, dun, 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 you're so big on a dun, dun, you're a chick on dung, and jump to Tony, don't be on a day, motion code, and not the typhoon, and on the top. ちょっとこんな子ねがやみなせいや顔に感じが信じろ Hey guys, just got back. Um, we didn't actually finish the Mataba with had three pieces left. It was too filling. Um, so yeah, I'm actually about to finish the memory on this memory card, which is amazing. I've never actually like almost finished it before, so I have to switch to the new memory card afterwards. But yeah, I have sort of kind of packed. <laughs> I feel a little bit bittersweet. It's been great this past few days. I'm um, gonna spend time with my brother and bond with him and him to keep me places and all. Thank you so much, God, if you're watching this for you know taking me and stuff like that and waiting around for me as well. Really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I just to borrow luggage from him because I wasn't expecting to go a little crazy at Lotte Mart and um. 
about half of the items couldn't fit into my bag comfortably with my clothes so I have shifted off like the grocery whatever everything into the bigger luggage and then I'm gonna take just the clothes bag itself as hand carry I don't think clothes should be that heavy I guess compared to the shopping stuff um, so yeah I'm gonna like wash up and watch some videos and get some sleep my flight is tomorrow night so I'm not too sure yet what's gonna happen tomorrow but I definitely want to go to the airport a little bit earlier so I can pick up my duty free item yeah one thing about the Lotte duty free item is that uh, you can purchase it at the store downtown but you pick it up at the airport just before your flight which is a prevention way so that you know you are not um, taking the items to be sold because you got it for a cheaper price obviously so that's a good prevention way um, and also to walk around maybe the duty free has some item, some stock for some items that I kind of like but they didn't have and um, hopefully if they have stock then hopefully it's a good price because I got a really good deal earlier so yeah um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!